Hello again. Right, so I'm back out again for my second morning. The wind's definitely picked up with a bit more of my cloud cover this morning. Um, had a bit of a job messing about trying to get out, but I eventually made it out. And um, just see what's about. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be something here. Supposedly a malform book that um, they want to try, to try and get into. So, fingers crossed, I'll come across him. Let's have a look. Well, that didn't take long. Uh, literally, just come around the corner of the hedge and there's a, a buck out in the field. Now, I'm watching him for a bit because I wasn't sure if to go for him straight away. Uh, but he's looked like he's got fairly straight antlers. Um, little uh, bits at the bottom, a couple of little spurs at the bottom. And he won't walk in that well. Um, he was limping a bit, so I don't know if he's been scrapping and he's uh, been injured. But he's down over there. I'll just give it a minute just to make sure and then I'll go and have a look. Probably one of the shortest stalks I've ever done. Spike on that one. Well, you do wonder which ones sometimes you you, sh you should take uh, and which ones you should leave. I wasn't sure what to do with this one. I mean, he has got a bit of a spike on his head there. It's not fantastic, but his hips. This side, you can, just there, you can really feel bone on him. Oh Christ, his hips are really out. He's not in good nick at all. Right. I'll open him up and then I'll see see if I can see out why he's not in good condition. But I think I made the right decision. I hope I made the right decision. Right, let's have a look.
well typical like London buses um, three turn up all at once so basically we had um, that one that I've got sorry if it's a bit windy um, second book I just saw coming up the far edge nip through into the cover crop behind us and then just on this edge here um, might look far at camera but it's, it's not that far away at all 50 meters at tops um, but come out come so far up edge come back come to have a look at us um, went into that ward and then come back out of it later and was a bit milling about but both of those two were some nice little six pointers so they were nice ones to, nice ones to be able to leave anyway I think I've taken the right one so far uh, I'm just gonna get this one over to the van get my stuff sorted and then what I'll do is I'll go for a walk because you never know I might see that mouth walk about as well it's what might it's a bit windy A, a doe with two youngsters in the next field um, which is all bailed um, did see a doe and uh, a doe a kid behind me um, but it ran into this one I'm guessing it was off that that group I thought it was an air at first in my thought sure look quick rhinos but I'm positive there were a buck in that corner as well but I think there's a bit of a glimpse and he's disappeared so this is a particular one that I'm looking for and it did look alright, it didn't look malformed. Well, just as a quick glimpse anyway. But I'm going to give it a bit of a call here. And then I'll move on to the next edge row, I think. Again, sorry for wind. Uh, made me way up a bit further. Uh, I'm now in the field where the doe with the two kids were. Um, I think she's disappeared off into the into the wood. Um, that buck just seen in the cover crop. Again, another nice one. Uh, it's not what I'm looking for. So I'm just scanning now. 
there's a grass field here where it's got a few cattle in it. Um, double field up far side. Well, stubble fields all around, so I'm just going to wait out here for a bit, I think. You never know. I don't know what time it is. I might give it another call, try that. Well, I'm not seeing anything over here, so what I think I'll do is I'll have a, a steady walk back. You never know, someone else might come back out. I've got to be careful with the wind because he's going straight back, so I've got to jump up a gating corner, and then I think what I'll do is I'll come back up the like, side of the cover crop, so I'm away from the side of wood, uh, and then just work my way back. It's all gone fairly quiet now. They've all disappeared into cover, it's supposed to get out at sun maybe, or wind, or both. Right, we'll crack on anyway, see what we can find. So I think this is my last chance. Um, back near to the farm, there's a bit of a, a little dale, gully sort of thing. So I'm just stood on top side of that. I'm going to give it a bit of a call. And uh, I think then I'll call it a day. But I've just seen a, a doe with a youngster just nip in as they were coming round by the winds. Not ideal. Obviously I can't get it anyway. Give it a go. Well, I think that's it. Uh, it's getting up to about half past eight now, so I think it's time to have a wander back and get some breakfast and a brew. Um, but Note on this call, actually nothing reacted to the call anyway. They might have had odd luck, but that were about it. So, if you did like the video, uh, and also I've got the new um, trigger cam, so hopefully I've got some better shots on it this time. But please like and subscribe. Thank you for all the support so far, and I'll see you later. As you can see from the photo, once I've got it back home and skinned out, it got a damaged back left knee. Also, its thigh bone had got some calcium growth to it as well, so it looked like that had been damaged at some point, possibly hit by a car. Uh, no sign of any infection anywhere, so it looks like it's happened a while back. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe, ring that little bell, and I'll see you next time.